one time in his career. He was all conference first team back. He suffered a major knee injury. And now you're starting to see him get the old form back. I heard he was the guy, you know, the go-to guy at UCF. The running back that's getting over a thousand yards this season. Hand off to bring Harvey inside the 35, 30. He cuts towards the middle of the field. 25. Keeps the legs moving. Come on, 20. Still moving to the 19-yard line. And still moving. No whistle yet. All the way down to the 14-yard line. I remember it was the uh, first scrimmage and I ran the ball and I got tackled trying to get more yards and I guess a lineman fell on my leg and I thought it was just a normal tweak or something in my other leg and come to find out it was an ACL injury. Anytime you go through a major knee injury like he has at the running back position or any position, you have to develop some perseverance and you have to have a, a play with a chip on your shoulder. Bryn's a physical football player and it's funny because Bryn's a real quiet guy, doesn't talk much, is mellow and everything he does. And then once he puts that helmet on, he's probably the most physical back we have. That's really what the injury is about. Uh, just the mental thing, uh, getting your head back focused and not worried about the injury and what I had to do to get done and get back on the field. And that's what I'm at right now, trying to win back a starting job. Bring one of my best friends here since day one. And I try to learn from him. You know, when we're in the film room, I'm, I'm supposed to be getting better. And, I see things he does, and I try to try to incorporate that. I expect big things from Brent this year, and I think he's a physical running back, and he's a downhill runner, so I'm, I'm excited to watch him. You have to go back out and prove to everyone that you're the still you're still the same guy that you were before. And I think he runs like that. I think he practices like that. I just want to leave a legacy of a running back that's been humble throughout his experience here at UCF, and just hasn't taken anything for granted. Hey Knight fans, this is Jordan Ray. Come out and support the UCF Knights in the Bright House Stadium September 29th versus Missouri.